I'm going to do my art quilt today. Me. Uh, <laughs> see if my internet's going to work. Oh, it's like repeating itself. Doesn't sound very good, does it? Doesn't sound very good, does it? Ooh, there's like a high pitched squeal. Oh, it's feedback from this thing. Okay. It's feedback from my laptop. Sorry about that. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on this art quilt and if if anybody comes on then that would be great um, if not well maybe you can watch it later <laughs> in the meantime I have my tea and I have some snacks and I have my dog <laughs> and I have some M&Ms Huh, that's strange. I hope this is going live. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Looks like I'm having some internet problems. Says poor connection. Yeah, can't see this, but it's telling me very well, other than it's a poor connection. do that. It says, oh no wonder it's like 933 gigabytes. They recommend that you use a stream at 2500 gigabytes. Well, I don't know how to change that. Um, Well, there's nobody here yet anyway, so <laughs> I wonder if it even went, said that it was going live. I wonder what I can do. Let's see. So I guess I'm just testing this live stream. Let's see if I can <clears throat> figure out what these buttons are. Whoop. <laughs> that did a quick shot of behind. No, that's not the button. Hi, Mary. 
just um, sitting here trying to figure out how to get a better streaming. Hi, Kim. Hi, Linda. Um. Hi, Regine. So, tomorrow I'm going to call the internet people and find out what I can do to improve this service because I have no clue <laughs> what I'm doing. But we all know that, right? Um, let's see. Mary's tired. She played an exhausting chef's game. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> um, the chat's not coming up on my... I don't know why I'm having problems. Hmm. Strange. I don't know what game they're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the comments. It's really hard for me to read the comments on this little teeny phone. It's so small. Okay, so this is going to be a poor connection, but hopefully you can see what I'm working on. And I can't get my chat to come up on my tablet. Right. Oh, there it is. Sometimes when you refresh it, it comes up. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, now switch that to live chat. It's not much bigger, but... Okay, we have Mary, Linda, Kim, Regine. Oh, oh, it's the chiefs. <laughs> I thought it said chef, like chefs, like cooking stuff. <laughs> My hair is cute. <laughs> I just have it pulled up, you know, pinned here and there and stuff, but thank you. Um... Let's see, who else? Oh, hi, Stephanie. And Shirley, hi, how are you doing? Um, I hope the quality of the voice isn't too bad and the quality of the video isn't too bad. Um, still a work in progress, right? Okay, so um, I think I caught up with what's going on here. So, Kansas City Chiefs, Teresa Louise, they won the Super Bowl last year. Oh, well, I don't watch football. Sorry. <laughs> I do know who they are, though. When I, I used to watch football, and years ago, my first husband was really into football. And um, he was from Minnesota. Or his family is from Minnesota, not him, but uh, so it was the Minnesota Vikings. And I went along with it because what color do the Minnesota Vikings wear? Purple. And what is Teresa's favorite color? Anybody? Hi, Tiffany. 
anybody know what Teresa's favorite color is? Okay. Oh, I sound just fine. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, you're the winner. Purple, that is correct. <laughs> you guys even had a hint. <laughs> Kim came in second. <laughs> I mean, look at my tablet. My tablet's even purple. I know I have green on today, but green goes with purple. Okay. Alrighty. How's everybody today? I'm great. I'm good. I'm in such a better mood now that my dog is feeling good. My husband is feeling good. Um, we still have his doctor's appointment on January 4th with the real heart doctor. So that'll be a novelty. And, um, uh, but he took the dogs for a walk this morning and he's feeling good and he um, is downstairs making knife sheaths. So he does leather work. I tried to get him to bring it up here and we could visit while, you know, we worked on stuff together, but he's got it all set up down there. Okay, so let's look at the quilt. Yes, Kim, it was an answer to the prayer. Willa getting better and Brandon feeling good too. Definitely answers a lot of prayers. All right, so let's see if you guys are going to be able to see this. Move you around a little bit. Um, is that a good enough view, or you want me to try to get you closer? I have changed the fabric <laughs> on this dog more times than, uh, yeah. Let's see, what's Tiffany doing? Tiffany is um, piecing backing so she can load the frame again. She's busy quilting, 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 quilting. That's the, the quilt over here on the long arm that I um, took a, been taking all the stitches out of. Mainly because I don't like the color of the thread I used. And then I missed a bunch of spots. And so I'm just going to take it out. But today, um, all right. So let me know in the comments what you guys are working on. And I'll just keep working on this. I've been kind of using this photo down here, this black and white one, to kind of cut out some pieces. Kind of using this one as a template to help me cut out the pieces that I want. Um, I'm going to leave this area a little dark like it is now. I know it needs to lighten up, but I'm going to come back in with some of that tool, lighter stuff, and kind of like try to blend that in and make it a little lighter right here. And um, I think I lost the chat. If you're still there, and I didn't lose you, somebody say something in the chat for me. Mm. 
So that's what I'm doing with this one, kind of using it as a template. <clears throat> took a whole bunch of the fabric off from around the eye. I don't like the eye at all. The eye is really bugging me. Um, this piece is glued down really good. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it there. Uh, and if I don't, then I'm just going to have to go over it. Okay. Okay, good. It looks like people are still okay. I wasn't sure if the chat what was going on. <laughs> so looks like Kim's gonna be doing some applique. Cool. And Mary's doing laundry. Ugh. The coloring on her muzzle looks good. Yeah. Thank you. This part here? Yeah, that was a awesome piece of fabric I found here. For that. And um, instead of going too, too much white, because she is really white, you know, in the muzzle. But I don't know if it's the quality of the photo, but it definitely is like, has a green tint to it on this photo. So, yeah, so I thought I'd try the green. I had the, I don't know if you guys remember, I had this other stuff up there, like uh, this color. I had this color up there. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't making me happy. <laughs> so anyway, um, Mary says I bet grunge would work well for that. Yeah, it could. Um, maybe I don't. Ha I don't think I have any grunge. I'm not a grunge person. So, okay, let me get going on this. Okay, so Tiffany's doing the backing on a quilt. Kim's doing some cutting out applique pieces. And what's Stephanie doing? Now I will have to come back in here and lay some dark underneath the muzzle here because you don't want to lose the, the dark. I know I have the pencil, you know, light marking it now, but I will come back in and I'll probably go under the white with it. I'll lay it on the t top first and see what it looks like in it. I don't, it can't be like too black. This piece back here is going to have to be pretty dark. So this piece here, which is right here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, which is right here. That piece will have to be pretty dark. But then I'll have to come back over and do like a white highlight because of the highlight right here you can just barely see the fuzz of the lip so I'll need to do that and I'm trying to see it's kind of at that angle there I 
I could move that one up a little bit. Well, I glued it down already, so that's not going anywhere. <laughs> so, I have to get another little piece of something. Cold upstairs. Let's see. Oh, Stephanie's telling me what she's doing. Stephanie is making color cards for the block of the month. Becca and I are starting in January. Oh, cool. And Tiffany's ironing. Hi, Brenda. Brenda Johnson, hi, how are you doing? She says, awesome, dang Teresa, that muzzle looks amazing, great job, I'm so impressed. I haven't ever tried an art fabric painting or whatever it's called, but your pup is turning out so awesome, thank you. Um, Ray Jean, are you asking me if I'm getting more snow? Uh, no, actually, today is a really beautiful day. Nice and sunny. Things have kind of melted down, the snow we have. And then it's refreezing, so it's kind of like a ice slick out there. Um... Okay, so I want to bring some dark in here, and I'm thinking about maybe going to up one color in this dark green. Boy, this stuff has a lot of sizing in it or something. A lot of starch. Let's see. I'm just kind of looking at this. I'm looking at this and looking at the photos and trying to find a piece that I think would look good in here. this is going to start getting a little bit darker, right? It's actually going to be this eye is dark in here. comes and it's gonna get dark right in there. I would do a lot better if I was just <laughs> sketching it <laughs> or painting it. But you're never gonna learn if you don't try. I got. The thing I like about batiks is you just get all kinds of different things to choose from. Different color variations, you know. And 
like this one now. Look at all the blue in this one. I think, ooh, I like this piece right here. I wonder how that would go. I'm gonna just try and get that out of there. The other thing I'm looking for is the way this texture is moving. I want it to move in the same direction as the hair. So I'm looking at that too. Some tacky glue. Now, what do I do with this piece?
I wish I could play some music. Um, sorry I'm so quiet, <laughs> but it's hard to talk when you're thinking. And I'm just kind of cutting out some different shapes here that I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them or not, but. My pins went. Oops. What happened to my chat over here? And we're just going to stop for a second and uh, see what you're all saying. Hi, June. Hi, Joyce. Uh, roll back, see where I was. Okay, I read Brent. Brenda's. Hi, Lisa. Popping in to say hi. Glad you did. Great. I hope you do watch the replay. I'm glad you're excited. That's cool. Let's see, Mary's trying to decide if she wants to crochet it all together or make borders between the blocks and make a blanket or what? Is that posted on Facebook? I'm guessing. I, I didn't go on Facebook today yet. It would be a warm blanket, Kim says. How's June today? Hi, Brenda. Wally. Hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You like doing art quilts. Give me some tips. Hi, Angela. You know what um, is cool is they've started putting the chat on top of my video. So you guys will still see the chat when you watch the replay because sometimes it, um, YouTube doesn't get the chat up very fast so okay we're just talking about the weather so <laughs> Yeah, I hope we have a appointment on the 4th, so I hope we have good roads for it. Luckily, it's not till like 1.30 in the afternoon, 
Um, but we still got to leave fairly early because it's a long drive. It's like three hours just to get to the appointment because it's in um, Lewiston, Idaho. Look it up if you're curious. Um, it's north of me. Okay, you guys are chatting. That is great. That's what it's about. Thank you for the thumbs up. Boy, once I turn the heater off in this room, I'll tell you, it doesn't take long to get cold. All right. Yeah, I like that color. I'm going to look at it in the camera. I'm going to try bringing you up a little closer so I can... Except for I can't see it through the camera very well with all the chat. Yeah, I think I like that all right. Might be a little dark, but not too bad. Back just a little. Thanks, Angela. Okay. I still don't know if I'm going to keep that there or not, <laughs> but I keep putting it back. It's really dark around the eye here. I don't know if you can see it. Really dark. I want to see if that's a piece I want to use or not. Maybe. I won't glue it yet. What I like about this piece is it has this white highlight right here, which kind of highlights that eye right there. I think that works well. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I can see it in the photo. And the way the fabric goes, it's like a burst out that way, which is what this is kind of doing.
Yeah, it's a beautiful day here today. I mean, it looks beautiful. I wish I could bring you over and show you. It's still sunny out, but it's cold. I got some snacks, crackers, and cookies. <laughs> I should have um, got some cheese. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I like this. I have to be able to put this in there somewhere. It looks like cookie. I hope so. Thanks, June. You like it there, Teresa? Or, or <laughs> that's what Stephanie said. Mary loves the doggy. The piece I just put in looks great. I'm not sure which piece you mean. This one or this one? I think I'll set my tablet over here so I can see the comments better. Faster. Okay, somebody says, don't put that fabric there. Or, hey, that looks great right there. Uh, Angela's supposed to get a little snow tomorrow and Wednesday. Rain the rest of the week. The one directly under the eye. Okay. Great. I'm going to need to cut that off a little bit because I got to, some more white has got to get in there. So let's see where I'm at. This right here. I need some more of that light color. Finish around the mouth. Okay, Mary. Whoops. Sorry. Up the camera. I think that, you see it's pretty white right there, so that needs to be right here, and I think I'm just going to use more of that same color, because it's basically the same color. I'll do that, so I can cut me a piece. So, I wonder what Tiffany will be doing on So Sunday. <laughs> will she be quilting a quilt on her long arm? Or will 
will she be sewing a project, a little teeny projects? The inquiring minds would like to know. Because when we get done recording here, we got to go over there. Okay, Tiffany says, binding is today with a tag. Um, is it binding on the long arm or binding on the regular sewing machine? And oh, she finished the one on her long arm? Well, she didn't put it on the... Did she record it? I've been... Had the computer all day. I didn't see her. Um, I would. I would like to see how she puts the binding on, on the long arm. <laughs> that quilt quilt might be a little too big, but all right. Let's find a color out of this fabric that is going to work. I'm definitely looking for more of the light, like this. Here's a nice light color here. See how light that is? I think that would work really well for right there. Let's see if I can find a better one. Um, I can take that thing off of there. And... I'm going to use my little black and white template to help me figure out what I want. So what I'm doing, let me show you what I'm doing with that. It's not, I don't know if I'd call it a template or not, but I don't know if you can, okay. Can you see that? So I'm just taking the fabric and laying it down on top. I'm going to have to move this for a second. And I probably could use a light table or something, but I don't, I don't really need that, I don't think. I'm just trying to see if there's something... something in this fabric I could use for this piece. Um, I'm looking for the shape. Basically that's what I'm looking for the color and I'm looking for the shape. Ooh, this might be the right shape right there. Alright, so I'm gonna first I'm gonna cut it out big. I'm gonna get to it. I'm just gonna cut it out big. that and then you see how this has a rounded dark area right there that's what I'm going for and then the white on top which is right here I might not use all of that dark, but I definitely want to use, all right, so I'm going to come in again. I don't need any of this. I'm just going to cut out. Still cutting it out bigger than I need it. Okay, 
It's probably still bigger than I need it, so I'm gonna start trimming it down a little bit. It's easier for me to kind of do this while it's down on the table than up in the air there. And this off a little bit more. See. Lining up my dark area with the dark area of the photo there. And I can cut that off. All right, Let's see how that's going. Now I'm going to cut that dark out, but not all of the dark, just a little bit of the dark. Leave a little bit of the dark, I mean. pretty good. Oops. <laughs> Forgot you were down there. Okay. Then I want to move that and just a little bit more. I'm going to use my pencil there to trace the area I wanted. Then there's going to be more white, but it's not quite as bright as this coming down this way. I don't need to be there. So, all right. Let's catch up with the, see what you guys are saying. Whoops. Um, I finished the, this is from Tiffany, long arm. I didn't record the rest because I blasted the stereo and worked about 40 minutes and finished. I am making back to make another one, okay? Okay. 
Okay, Tiffany uh, says she might be able to do the binding on the new one that she's putting on the long arm, but she's not sure. Uh, the tiff, the quilt that she was quilting yesterday um, is not sold, so um, she probably will be selling that one. If you guys like it, you better go check it out at Tiffany's Quilting Life. Um, is it the third time with the same person, Tiffany? Um, she said that she was doing that quilt for a customer and they changed their mind that that's not what they wanted and so she went ahead and quilted it up anyway and I think she's going to sell it and then do a different one for the customer. Yeah, I'm sure it, that's a beautiful quilt, so I, I don't think she's going to have a problem selling it. That's for sure. So, and it has beautiful quilting on it, too. So, um, if there's anybody out there watching this that didn't see the quilt, should go check it out on um, Tiffany's Quilting Life. Um, her live she did yesterday um, on the 26th of December. All right, how's that doggy looking? Are we getting somewhere? I'm thinking of using this material here for part of the ear because of the movement, the movement that's in the fabric. So that's why I have it up there right now. I am just auditioning it, auditioning it. In it. <laughs> oh, a different client. Okay. Um. Okay. Guess what time it is, you guys? It's three o'clock. I've been sitting here for an hour, so it's time to get up. <laughs> All right, everybody get up. <laughs> get up and stretch for a second. And I think I'll back up over here and take a look at this. this uh, see how it looks from afar. Oh, hey, that's, yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, I am. I might have to, you know, I think I can come back in with some little detail in here, just using um, fabric pencils and stuff. Like I could put the some whisker marks in it. And she's got this little mole right here on her lip. I could put that in there. So, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm still not real crazy about the, the eye thing up there, but maybe if I get some other colors in that go with that, because you know. I guess you want them to look a little whimsical. Yeah, that's the, I guess that would be the question. What do you, what is the goal? Um, do you want it to be as much real life as possible? Or do you want it to have a cartoonish, whimsical feel to it? And I think I started out with the whimsical feel to it. And I keep, and I haven't been satisfied with that. And that's why I keep changing it because I don't want it to be cartoonish, <laughs> you know. 
Um, so I think it's headed towards trying to be as much real life as possible, especially when you look at it from a distance. So those are probably going to have to go. I'm, I have a feeling there's not going to be one piece of fabric on here at the end that I had originally at the beginning. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, take, let's take a little break. And I could stay on a little longer if you guys want to keep visiting. Oh, Tiffany, you're welcome. I love you too, honey. <laughs> you're awesome. Thank you, Mary. Mary said she loves the quilt that's over on the long arm. And then she retracted it. Ha. Huh. Too late. I um, already said it, so you can't take it back. <laughs> Hi, Linda. So, and she says, I would think real life. That is good going to awesome thank you yeah it's it's definitely headed towards real life not whimsical and whimsical like I said was kind of where it started <laughs> so or what I felt was whim looked whimsical you know um, Okay, Mary, uh, <laughs> she put it back on there. I love the quilt on your long arm. Thank you. Yeah, it's been on there for a while. Um, that's the one that I got all those little teeny half square triangles out of. I'll be glad when I get it done. But I got to finish ripping all the stitches out of it. Okay. Break time's over. Yeah, um, Stephanie stitches. I need to talk to you about that block of the month because I think you guys were talking about that and working on that when I was off YouTube for a while and um, I think I want to do the block of the month <laughs> or at least know more about it. So, let us know if the block of the month has been announced. Oh, she re oh, okay, Mary. It's okay. We knew what you meant. You don't have to retract it just because spelling errors. Gee whiz, if I retracted everything I spelled wrong, you'd never see me comment on there. What's in my cup? What am I drinking? I am drinking tea that's cold now, but it was hot when it started out. Um, Kim's drinking mixed berry tea. 
Okay, Stephanie, I will. Yeah, I need to take do some other things with you too, Stephanie. <laughs> we need to take care of um, that fabric for one. Uh, it's chai tea, of course. And to, right now it's black chai tea. And then I put a little bit of pumpkin spice in there. And honey. And then I put milk in there. I put quite a bit of milk in there because if I drink too much black tea or too much coffee, it starts to hurt my stomach. So um, if I put milk in there and then really spice it up with the pumpkin and this and that, it's pretty good. It's even good cold. All right, let's see where we are. Um, okay, I have this glued down. And I think, I think I want to, I think I feel good about what's going on here so far. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those other pieces down. Did I glue that one already? And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Boy. Just to tack it on there. Um, not enough that it makes it too difficult to take off if I don't, if I change my mind. And I can go back and add more. And that way, too, if you just put a little bit of glue somewhere in the middle, you can still trim away and stuff without running into the glue. Uh, glue this one down, too. Tiffany was like 12 inches too short for the backing. Oh no. Oh, that's a bummer. Thank you, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Yeah, it'll still be okay, Tiffany. I'm sure. Yep, Tiffany always makes things work. <laughs> All right. Now. want let's see what do I want um, 
I don't know what I want. I want to keep... I keep working around the mouth. so much little scraps all over the place. Willa is here. There's Willa. You guys are on my scissors. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, bring you up a little. When you move it around, it gets blurry, but when you hold it still for a little while and let it focus, then it's not too bad. Everybody's saying hi to you, Willa. She came over for a pet because I said her name. Thank you, Kim, for the reminder of thumbs up. <laughs> oh, we do appreciate it. Kim says, hello, Willa. Joy says, hello to Willa. I'm petting her for you guys, too. <laughs> She's getting loves right now. Okay. That's a good girl. Let's see. We need... What do we need next? Do we want... Is this going to be dark? Dark? Yeah, I think a little dark. I think I'm going to look for some blue to go in there. Just a little bit for some highlight. What happens with that? In the camera, it looks like there's a pretty big contrast between this color and this color. 
um, a lot more so in the camera than just visually. Did you see that where that piece fell off to? Gosh darn. No. I don't know where it went. Hmm. I just had it cut out too, how I wanted it. Oh, there it is. Just a minute, will I? I just need a little piece to fill in the, that crack. I'm getting a pile of balls down here. <laughs> she keeps bringing them to me. She wants to play. Um, okay, you guys. Um, it's going to be the 10 minute warning. Um, it's coming up on 3.30. So I'm probably going to go ahead and close for, to, for today at 3.30. Um, that way I can get a little break, go use the little girl's room and get me another cup of tea and um, get ready for um, Tiffany to go live my time will be four o'clock um, Arizona time where Tiffany is is five o'clock back east will be seven o'clock <laughs> better play with her I I do, June. I throw the ball for her. She brings it to me. I pick it up. And then I throw it to her. Or I throw it for her. And um, what I do is I... There's a bedroom across the hallway. And I... Um, throw the ball through the hallway over to the other bedroom so she has a long ways to run. But my husband doesn't like it too well because he's like, what the heck are you guys doing upstairs? I'm just throwing the ball for the dog. 
Well, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, if I feel like it, like it needs it, I can always come back in with some of that uh, tool, some light tool, and kind of lighten this up so it kind of looks more blended there. So, yeah. Well, I really appreciate everybody. Hi. <laughs> everybody joining me. I'm really glad that you could stop by. And uh, let's try and do this again next Sunday at 2 o'clock, my time. Which will be 3 o'clock for Tiffany. And 5 o'clock for back east. So I'll try and come on again next Sunday and do a little more of this art quilt. And I hope that all of you had a wonderful Christmas. And um, I'm looking forward to a new year. I have a lot of thoughts about what's going to happen here in the sewing room so I hope you will join me for those videos and definitely one of the things I want to get right away in the new year is a more pow powerful camera and internet stuff so that these um, lives are more pleasant <laughs> to, to watch and to rewatch. But I do uh, appreciate all of your guys' support. You guys are awesome. Okay, well, let me look at the... Cause we got five more minutes. Good to see you in your arc. Thanks, Stephanie. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Jim. I'm glad you stopped. I'm glad you said goodbye at least. <laughs> I don't remember seeing you earlier. So long, Brenda. Yep, it's coming along. Bye, Carolyn. Um, bye, Kim. I'll see you guys over at Tiffany's later in about a half hour. Bye, Joyce. Bye, June. Um, who else we got? Bye, Mary, if you're still out there. Linda, bye, Linda. So, bye, Angela. Um, <laughs> four for Kim and you. Yeah, that's right. That's not too bad. Yep. See you guys all over at Tiffany's, 4 o'clock uh, for me. 5 o'clock for Tiffany. Well, you know, I already told you. So, all right. Love you guys. And um, thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you next time right here in Teresa Louise's sewing room. <laughs> oh. Teresa and Willa sewing room. Okay. I better go. We'll stop a little early. Because I got to figure out how to turn the darn thing off anyway. Okay. See you guys.